Uh, I got a question for y'all, right? So, Lord Jabbar um, hmm. came out talking about, huh, you know, female rappers ain't hip hop and all that type of shit. Ironically, he has a podcast with Rod Digger, who's extremely dope. That's a dumbass comment. But my question to y'all is, because he said, here's what he said: I like real hip hop. Like I said, I'm an alpha male. Thank you. Uh, so certain <laughs> themes are, are not gonna resonate with me. Female themes, themes of su- themes of sucker shit, white people themes. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of shit that I wouldn't res- that that I wouldn't resonate with. But I resonate with positive, militant, gangster, sometimes <laughs> misogynistic music. Oh, ah, yeah. I'm just keeping it real. So my because question that, that's the definition of hip hop, I guess. Huh? Clearly, I, I want to make up some. I want to make up some white people themes. <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> Spools. I'm coming to you first on this one. <laughs> I guess. Yes, please go yeah. go go deep into white people I went themes. To the store. I, went to the, like, 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 I like mayonnaise. Yeah. Mayo man. I like mayonnaise. I smell I'm, like a wet I dog. I my dog in the mouth. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Spools, I'm coming to you with this one. So my question to you is, is pretty simple. I kiss my dog in the <laughs> mouth. That's awesome. So is Lord, is I wear that. shorts in the winter. <laughs> <laughs> that's white Come on, man. Anyway, go yeah. ahead. I'm sorry, Mike. I'm coming yeah. to you. No, that's you stupid. Look. I heard the white people, um, the shiki is the... Uh, that potato bag pullover thing. What? Remember that that kind of potato bag <laughs> <laughs> like shirt, that? and it didn't have. It had like big open ass sleeves. Like a tall tee? No, nah, it's like a you hoodie. Still, damn yeah, there. I know what you're talking about. It's almost but like, it's a, like a burlap. Yeah, yeah, it's I know. Like yeah, I know what you're talking about. Made out of a burlap bag. Yeah, and it's it had almost like, like this hippie poncho thing. Yeah, that's yeah. what it is. I heard that was a like potato. A what? Like a burlap bag. Okay. That's yeah. their version of a dashiki. Sometimes they would have like tassels. Yeah, I wear them in July. Yeah. Long be rocking them. You, yeah, you a, that's a hot time itchy? to wear those, man. Yeah. Just Does those, it no, no shirt underneath. <laughs> just just yeah. that. Long probably wear them with some Dickies and Tims, yeah. right? <laughs> Do I? No, I, I didn't know if you definitely did. I know you new say balances. Somebody wearing, yeah, definitely new mal- and and balances and, and, and a hacky tall sack. white hacky no. sack. Hacky sack. I don't know, man. Long probably got a pair of Tims in somewhere. No. Six inch weak. No, nah, we definitely were supposed to be doing Martins. a. And we were supposed to be doing a GoFundMe to get him some, some Tims. Tims. Yeah. yeah, he said he'll wear them if we cop, right? No, I didn't. Okay. Um, <laughs> spools. So my question is: Is Lord Jamar helping or hurting the culture at this point with his comments? Because he's been saying a lot of crazy shit via Vlad, via his podcast. I'm the one that usually likes to root for. You know what I'm saying the OGs being able to drop wisdom, but some of the shit he be saying, man, I'm getting to the point where I'm like, fam, you gotta chill. So is he is he helping or hurting the culture with the shit that he says? I think he's more. I, don't, I see. I don't know. Just the way the cult. I guess the culture is depends on what culture you're talking about. Like in the realm of like popular culture, or popular. Mm. You know what I mean? Like okay, I see where like, you're going. You know, slinging mud and like I don't know. Just I don't know. Just, I guess, hip hop in, in, no, what, in general no. is that cool. I mean, I'll at just the end no. of the day, like, you no, know, I agree with, with Terry. No, like, no, yeah, like, he's not, he's not helping, <laughs> not at all. Way. Yeah, if that's what, yeah, okay. It's, it's, okay, he's not helping and he's not hurting because he's not relevant like that. So. Uh huh. I mean, that's it's what like, I'd say. I choose not to pay attention that much to what Lord Jamar says anymore because right. it's gotten just kind of ridiculous, yeah. like, after a while. Um, comedy at this point, not even comedy, it's just annoying, like, man, like. Just it's like, why do up. people keep putting a camera in front of us? Yeah, right. I don't, okay. yeah, I don't get that okay. part. I guess people keep watching it. You know? yeah. I just yeah. stopped watching it. His interviews it. do numbers. That's all there is to it. Yeah. Well, and plus, him and Vlad seem to be actually cool on a certain level. Yeah. So I stopped watching. They did. A long no. time ago. Man, Nothing I'm else cool to say. on Lord Jamar, man. I, like I said, I don't even watch his interviews. I see the the headlines go across them. It's like, okay, he's talking shit again. We're the brand newbie in, though. I mean, obviously. Facts. You know, that's but cool. Facts. Shout out to Sadat X, who yeah. I saw perform at Trees. Yeah. Grand Pooba. Yeah. All that shit. But nah, I've yeah, never, I don't really rock with Lord Jamar like that. So what he says, I could care less. But who says that with not with a podcast? With I mean, Rod it's just, like, I mean, come on, man. Like, I guess he's being honest. Yeah. Well, what did Rod Digger say when he said that? That, I, that's the part I didn't get a chance to look up as well, was her response. But I'm sure she went in on so behalf. He, he said this on their show. Yes. Yes. He said this what, with her there. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, fam. He can like whatever he wants to like. At the yeah. end of the day, like, there's no you know problem. It's just I don't know the way he chooses to. Experience. You can tell it almost seems like he's trying to be 
contrarian. He's trying to be like it just seems like he's trying. Trying a little too hard. Yeah. Doing a little too much. Man. Yeah, I'm I'm cool at this point. Like I'm cool. But it's working for him, I guess, if that's what the goal is. is I mean, for his yeah. audience, probably. And yeah. it's, it's definitely getting people talking, obviously, because we're talking about it. There you go. But um, their podcast is actually solid, too. Rodiga has, like, dope hip-hop stories. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like her talks I like about, Rodiga. Man. Yeah, she talks about her start, man. And I learned a lot of stuff about her in terms of how she came up and, you know, how she focused on her bars and she'd be – and a lot of ciphers and be the only woman and just had to, you know, go back to the wall and get busy. Like, I remember, you got something long? You looking up something? Yeah, so I got Rod Digger's response. So it says, somebody tweeted to her, someone tell Lort Jamar, Lort. <laughs> an alpha male doesn't have to tell you he's an alpha male. And Digga, <laughs> even though you laugh and you as a woman who is highly respected MC must now address this on behalf of all women MCs. And she says, nope, that's his opinion. And the second last thing I care about, in parentheses, the last being anybody's opinion on anything, is Lord Jamar's opinion on female rappers. Oh, good for there him. There you go. Well, great response. There it is. She yeah. told him. I mean, everyone has their <laughs> opinion, but you know, I if if it's like I I I, I will date my opinions and my ideas. I don't have to be married to them, you know. And if somebody presents me with, like, how how can you? S- sit down and listen to Rhapsody's albums and say, well, I can't identify just because she's a woman. You mean you can't hear the the level of dexterity and and, and, compli- and how complicated her rhyme structure is? No. All you can do is hear that she's a woman? <laughs> right. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, that's 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 basically where you're coming from. It's like, yeah, fuck all that. How great. Nah, you know, I don't want to hear her sing about to. women themes and how it is to be a, a woman in society. Like, okay, man, but... That has nothing to do with her ability to actually spit bars. Like I really hope that album gets it's just due from it's gonna a love a lot. We need more love. rappers that have white people themes. I agree. Yeah. I, agree. <laughs> I wanna hear more more songs about raisins and potato salad. Like yeah, those are right. the things yeah. I'm really looking See, forward to. See, that's a flaw. Uh oh. <laughs> that's not a real thing. Yeah. That's not real? <laughs> Come I mean on, man. in a chicken salad. Uh, raisins in the chicken salad? <laughs> that's chicken salad, stupid. I don't, like, I don't fuck with chicken salad. No, nah, nah, I, you know, what that's I could, stupid. A good raisins chicken salad, chicken though? Salad. Yeah. yeah. See, I don't like mayonnaise, so maybe that's part of the issue. Raisins and chicken salad is stupid, though. Man, it's raisins <laughs> and grapes and walnuts. What? You know what else is yeah. horrible white people stuff? What's that? Put green, me on game. Green bean casserole. Green yeah. bean with the little casserole. crunchy, uh, yeah, with the little French's, crunchy onions, with though? The French's mm-hmm. fried onions. Not that bad. You know, you put a little... Cream of, cream of mushroom soup in there. You Look, he, not a re- he not a recipe. <laughs> he do, Jay, Jay Borby making that green bean casserole he took, on the low. He took it to a potluck at work one time. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. All right. And he had he had his Tupperware that had the little handle on the top. Said yeah. Jay Moore on it. Yeah. Mm, he put like, it right on it. He put it on like it was cold. Yeah. And you know yeah. Betty from Accountant critiqued the hell out of it. She yeah. Was, yeah. Like it's all right. It's what out, you it was out of can. How you eat? You need just more eat raisins. That. Need more nutmeg. <laughs> <laughs> need more nutmeg. Yo, yeah. I do like oatmeal cookies though. Who doesn't? Oatmeal raisin cookies. No, I'm yeah. with that. I yeah. don't fuck with those. What? Word? I do like those. Nope. I think they're fucking disgusting. Damn. <sighs> They're disgusting, being, though. Correct. You ever oatmeal see some? Raisin. You ever see some oatmeal yes. raisin cookies from across the room, and you think it's chocolate chip, and you get a cry, and you're like, "Oh, oh never, that's happened to me once or twice." They and it's still like, doing this. <laughs> some of the worst shit ever, dude. You know, I'm never disappointed. I'll tell you what's, what's black, though. It's like you gotta what? be fucking kidding me. Grips. <laughs> T- tell you what's black. Inspecting. Black. Now I'm like, mm. you're telling me that. <laughs> exactly. Grits. What's black. Grits and cream of wheat. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Why? Because the black like, dude is on the box. Together? No, I've never been like an oatmeal. Not on grits. Or, you know. I'm just saying that's that's a a black thing. No, the black yeah. d- the dude looks like Yo Gotti's on the on the don't do that. Box. Don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> don't do yeah, that. It looks like Yo. Don't do that. I don't even like oatmeal by itself, but I do like Uncle the Ben looks like Yo Gotti. Is that what you're saying? No, no. There's no, another the dude, dude who's on the cream of wheat, wheat box. Oh, okay. the cream gotcha. of wheat man yeah, looks yes, like Yo Gotti. Uncle Ben's right. We can't do the podcast in Memphis. Uh, what? <laughs> There's a meme about that, so oh, word, yes, okay. I, yeah, yeah. I, didn't, I didn't realize. <laughs> Pretty accurate, though. Yo, let's now pay. That I think about it. What's that? 